To get the latest on the economy and all of this, I'm joined by the Chief Economist at Deloitte Access Economics, Chris Richardson. Thanks for joining us, Chris. I uh, wonder if uh, first up I could get your best estimate about that September quarter. Do, do we do two quarters uh, with a shrinking economy and is it possible to bounce back straight out of that? Uh, yeah, you know, bad news uh, in the last handful of months. Terrible news, as we know right now. Those lockdowns mean recession and a fairly large uh, recession. After that, though, uh, you've got it exactly right, Chris. If we can keep the virus at bay, uh, Australia is superbly positioned to bounce back. Uh, so far, our hit to the economy has been smaller than elsewhere. And because we've done so well against the virus, uh, we look in reasonable shape. Uh, as state uh, and eventually international borders open up uh, to bounce back really quite strongly. What about the global economy, though? Because so many other countries have been hit worse than us, their economies have been hit worse as well. They'll take longer to recover. Are, are those external factors going to still have a big impact on our economy? Yeah, uh, look, uh, absolutely. And there's two sets of problems there. It says the world economy uh, will be much sicker than the Australian economy. That will hurt us. You know, we trade with the... Uh, the world, and that's going to have an impact here. But it has a double impact because we've done better against the virus than most other nations uh, around the world. That also says we have to be more careful as we open international borders. Uh, and so it's going to be some time before we have the tourists, uh, before we have the students, uh, before we have the migrants. So, uh, you know, even as uh, eight states and territories go through their three stages of opening up, you know, even after all that, uh, there will still be an ongoing challenge for the Australian economy. Yeah, that's a big, uh, big challenge for governments in the in the medium term. If we continue to keep the virus at bay and there is no vaccine, and the rest of the world sort of been through it, we're going to be an isolated country for a long time to come. Which I suppose is one of the reasons, and also the, the desire to get out of recession as quickly as possible. The government is spending so much on stimulus. When they're talking about a housing industry stimulus, uh, the details to be announced soon, and, and also economic reform, industrial relations reform, and these sorts of things, none of these are really going to help in the, in the short term, are they? They're, they are more medium-term changes. Uh, look, things like that housing package can help uh, in the shorter term. Uh, the reforms are more medium-term. And so those two things are a good example of the, the two broad needs from government at the moment. You need governments to keep going hard, and you need them to go smart, uh, go hard is, you know, sure, we need to get out of the emergency support. Uh, that will increasingly uh, be um, less necessary uh, as time goes by. But we'll need to transition out and we'll need to keep um, doing other things, whether it's a housing package or infrastructure to drive unemployment down. That's the go hard element of the equation. Go smart, as you say, you know, it's more medium term if it's in industrial relations or other reforms, but we should do it. We know that unemployment goes up fast, uh, it comes down slow, uh, and that combination says if we can get some reforms, uh, that will allow the Australian economy to grow faster over the medium term, which means more job creation. And, Chris, we don't really know the true state of the Australian federal budget. The budget's been delayed to October. Should we be given more information, a better insight from the government into what they think the situation is now, or is it just too volatile uh, and we won't really get a good handle on it until close to the budget? Uh, look, it will be a while before we get a good uh, handle. What I do think the government needs to do... Now, so it's being entirely sensible. It's saying uh, it's going to have a look at JobKeeper and everything else, and today it changed the date when it might be getting back uh, with some more detail around what it's doing there. That's fine. But it does need to give uh, Australian businesses, Australian families, a, a feel for where it goes from here. You know, broadly, it needs to say, uh, we still have your back. Uh, the emergency measures, uh, you know, some of them will become less important over time. We'll be drawing uh, some of those back, but we'll be putting other things in, in place. You've got to get that confidence back. That's something the Reserve Bank governors have uh, been talking about. Uh, you can see it internationally. The nations that are less anxious, the nations that are more confident, are the ones that are already starting to bounce back more strongly. Uh, that will be an important part of the equation.